Give us the top. Give us anything. Give us something. Have you seen the new CBS News magazine called West 57? Well, I'd like you to meet two of the correspondents. You've probably seen them maybe briefly or heard their voices on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. And John Ferrugia and Meredith Vieira. Yeah. We saw the first episode. You know, it was, it was really rather confusing. Not the show. The promotions that we saw for the show, since I didn't know anything about it, and I saw these promotions and I thought, Oh, here is a network television series about people who work behind the scenes in a news, presenting the news. And I thought it would be like a Lou Grant. And then to turn on a television and see it, and I said, oh no, it's a magazine news show. And you people aren't actors, you're real reporters. Was there any confusion in your mind as to what you were going to be doing? It certainly wasn't in my mind. I know what you're saying. The commercial did not mention news per se, and yeah. I think there was a purpose behind that. I mean, you want to bring in your audience. And then once they're in that door, they're going to find out that it's the real thing and presumably will stay from, from more of it. And also they find out that, that the real thing can be just as interesting and, and exciting and uh, as, as uh, fantasy. You gotta remember, a, a broadcast like 60 Minutes only uses the word news once, and I think that's at the half hour mark when they say we'll be back with more 60 Minutes of CBS News Magazine show. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you'll never hear the word news in that program. And it's obvious 60 Minutes has made its reputation on fine quality news. Will you write your own stories? Sure. Um, in, in any kind of uh, broadcast like this, you're doing a lot of stories. And so you have people we call producers, but uh, it's a misnomer because they're actually reporters. They're just not on the air. And it's a collegial effort. You're writing your stories with them. You're editing your stories with them. They're doing research. You coming in, coming out. So right. it's so a collegial effort. So you will do one story a week, and you will do one story a week. No, it not varies from week to week. You might have one on or two on mm -hmm. in any given week. Andy Lack, who is the executive producer, designs each one of these shows. He's got a lot of pieces that are now in house, and he creates a broadcast each week with the pieces that work best together. How does it feel to be on the other side of the fence? You people are interviewers. Now you're interviewees. How does this feel to you? It, it's a really strange thing because we're reporters. Yes. Um, and when we're out in the field, and when Meredith, I know, was uh, the Midwest reporter for the Evening News, and I was traveling uh, with the president at the White House, nobody really uh, asked us, you know, what our job was or, uh, or exactly what we were doing. And suddenly we're doing this broadcast, and uh, everybody's interested in, in us personally. Yes, which is very strange. Very strange. Well, you know, I think that there is, there's something to be said for that. When we saw the first episode, I heard comments from people who said, you know, I'm glad I didn't know who those people were because they weren't personalities, per se, like the people you see on, on 60 Minutes. And therefore, it seemed to be more objective because they didn't know you. And they didn't know you, Meredith, people in Nebraska. Well, I think what happens for both of us is that the, the broadcast is one that is packed with information. And if you noticed in the broadcast, in the pieces, you didn't see us that That's often right. unless we were involved in some way in the activity of doing the story. But you didn't see what's called a stand-up, where you're standing up with a microphone like you do on the lawn of the White House. You're packed with information and visual and pictures to tell that story and move it along. How long does it take to shoot like the Chuck Norris story that you did? In terms of editing it down to maybe a six or seven minute piece, how, actually, how much time would it take to shoot that, to edit it, to get it on the air? I think it varies dramatically. Um, one piece, you, you, you normally get five shooting days. So if you get, take that as your given, that's five days to shoot it. And you may be editing eight, nine, ten versions of the same piece, which could spread over a month long period. There's another piece that might, you might turn around in two days. I did a piece in Milwaukee on a weekend, and we had it edited by the Tuesday. So it totally varies from piece to piece. Well, who's going to decide what stories you are to cover? Say 60 Minutes wants to do the Maharishi. Do it. Uh, then w might you say, well, 60 Minutes is doing that, so we're not going to do that? Well, in the, in, the, in the mix of things, you have your executive producer, who's Andy Lack, and, and we, all of us together, come up with story ideas. And there is, within CBS, a vice president who is over 
all of that kind of programming, over 60 Minutes, West 57, CBS Reports. And when they see duplicate things coming in, oh. when, uh, he may say, you know, we've already got this story underway. Uh, not necessarily 60 Minutes. Maybe CBS Reports is doing right. something that's dealing with a specific uh, subject. Is there a story you want to cover? The story out there for you? I think, I think there are I lots of that. stories I want to cover. I think the biggest story right now is AIDS. I, I mean, I'm extremely mm -hmm. interested in it and would like to find a, another way of covering that story. I heard that AIDS was the number one killer in New York. It killed more than people with cancer and heart disease number one killer in New York. Don't know that. I don't, I don't either, but do a story on that, okay? Good luck. Good luck in the series. It's called Thank West you. 57th, and of course, that's the address of CBS News in New York. Thanks Meredith, a lot. Good luck to you. Thank we'll you. see Thank you down you. the road. Watch him here on 1011. Please don't go away. There's more to come as the morning show continues.